Everyone has their own method of animating, and what works for me may not work for all animators. That said, I like to work with step tangents only. I like my poses to behave like drawings, and I avoid splining until the very, very end. If you work with step tangents like me, or even if you don't, I like to show you three ways to speed up the process of making breakdowns or in-between poses. Before we start, this setup is for working in a stepped key environment, so if you haven't already, open your preferences and under animation, set your default in tangent to linear and your out tangents to stepped. Also make sure auto key is turned on. You can see here in my graph editor that the whole rig is keyed on every pose. I want to do a quick breakdown on this frame. We'll call this pose A and this pose B. First, I'll temporarily make my A keys linear. You can do this in the timeline, in the graph editor, or by assigning a hotkey to a mail command. I prefer the hotkey method and I've saved a hotkey for linear, flat, and step tangents. Now I'll go to the midpoint between my two keys and key all. Now back to my first key and reset to stepped. Kind of effective, but it could be done faster. Let's automate everything we've just done. This is another script which I've mapped to a hotkey. I call this B Breakdown. This little script does everything we just did in one click. It creates a breakdown by slicing a key through a temporary linear curve. We select key A and run the script effective, but let's take it one step further. The first two methods are fine for creating an arbitrary breakdown between poses, but for a little extra control we can use this third script. This is called the B-tweener, and it gives you interactive control over the in-between. Set your current frame between two keys, select your controllers, and run this script. You can run it from the script editor, from a hotkey, or from a shelf button. This script saves your two poses and gives you weighted control over the in-between. It'll only affect channels controlled by animation curves and only on the specified frame. You can flip between your drawings and adjust accordingly. Working with step keys has its advantages, but time to time I still need to switch to linear or step keys and I want to do this easily. So taking a few minutes to set up these custom hotkeys can save hours of time in the long run. Here are the scripts for setting your keys to linear, stepped, flat, a uh, hotkey to delete the keyframe, and to set the global keyframes to stepped or linear. These scripts will work for the current key or for all selected keys. All the MEL scripts here are available at Digimania, and if you're not familiar with turning scripts into buttons or hotkeys, then you can check the step-by-step -step guide in the README file. Happy in-betweening!